what we're going to have a look at now are our GST reports and these are the reports that we look to in order to be able to complete our BAS. So these are really important ones. The GST uh, reports um, that we're using, the information that's required for the business activity statement or the BAS are contained in the tax codes that we've been using uh, and described in the earlier chapters. So what MyOB Essentials does, it assists us in preparing the BAS figures by following these reports and showing on these reports what needs to be submitted and shown in the BAS. So let's go up to reports, show all reports, and I'll just show you what else is sitting here. Apart from your business reports, here's your p &L, your trial balance and balance sheet, and here's our ones that we're going to be using. But you've also got your banking, here's your banking reconciliation here, uh, any of your payroll reports, here's our sales and here's our bills. So it's really easy to navigate your way around and find this uh, the report that you need. It's really set out well. So very first thing I check is this one here which is my detailed report and I'll show you both. The detailed report and let's just pull it for um, my defaults by the way to the whole month. Let's leave that whole month. I was going to change it but actually um, it's showing for the quarter okay and we told it that in our setup that's why it's stemming with those dates already so even though we haven't done anything after uh, July it'll still show there to September let's let's leave it as it is so what this is broken into are tax codes so here is our figures that are going to go at G1 and this is all our sales so they're talking about the sales from this date to this date which is our quarter our first quarter of the year so everything is listed down here and you can see all our sales have included GST. If I was unsure of anything, I can click on the transaction details here and that would pull up the transaction in question. Notice you get this warning, the transaction has been reconciled. So just make sure that you don't amend uh, numbers here, otherwise um, it'll muck up your bank reconciliation. It then shows us our G10, which is our capital acquisitions. And you can see this is the um, purchase of that leather lounge suite. At G11, we've got our GST free purchases, and that's uh, our bank charges there. They're GST free. What comes next is anything that's GST, which goes at G11. And we've bought some um, goods from Bella Hair Care. There's our freight, our things from Australia Post there, aprons, and our mobile phone. So I always check for my clients what's sitting in these accounts and just make sure that this, um, this is correct. And what we've allocated to these uh, certain uh, accounts and areas on the bath are actually correct. Once I'm happy with that, I then send that report to PDF. <coughs> I'm happy with that. Let's pretend we've printed that and go back to reports to look at your other GST, which is this one here, the GST report for your activity statement. This displays the GST uh, that's required for our BAS. Again, it stems from those dates uh, in our setup. And again, we can choose cash or accruals if we deselect the cash. And we're going to generate the report there. So what you're looking at here, and I'll just make that bigger for you. What we've looked at here is the information that's required for our business activity statement. We've got here our sales, which go at G1. If we've reported export at G1, it will be shown separately at G2. If we've reported GST free sales at G1, that would be shown separately at G3. And if we've, if we've reported any interest uh, from the bank at G1, that would be shown here as an input tax sales, or the tax code that we use for interest received is ITS. We haven't received any of those, and that's why they're showing zero. That 293 is uh, 1 11th of those total sales, or 10% of your sales, that's sitting here as GST collected, and that's for the quarter there. 
Then we've got our capital purchase, which sits at G10, and that's the only thing that we report at G10 are our capital purchases. Non-capital purchases, so things like GST, GST free, your GNR, and so on, would go at G11. The GST gets added on both of those, uh, and the GST is applied to both of those to give you an amount of 315. Our Tax collected actually for that uh, quarter is actually less than what we've paid. So we're going to get a refund, which is nice. And I did see that on my um, dashboard before and thought to myself that was strange. But of course, we had a GST amount there before, and that's probably what's brought it down. So, how we would fill in our BAS. I'll just go back to my statement. My reports are always here. But on my dashboard here, you can see that that refund is sitting here. And if I click on it, it brings you to your uh, detailed report, which is what we saw before. You collected minus your paid uh, will give you the difference there of that $22. If you're unsure, you can always go to your reports under your balance sheet and your GST collected and paid are sitting here. This is from there to, to the end there, but don't forget you had that opening balance of um, $650 for your GST collected. That was for that uh, invoice, I think. And that's been allocated accordingly. Then you've got your GST paid sitting here. So going back to these ones here, it's your GST collected, but of course you've got to add on the PAYG amount that you've got showing here, just show you here, the $42.75. Don't forget when you're working out these numbers for the BAS, they're whole numbers. So it's 293, add on your PAYG minus your GST will give you the difference there. Once we've done that, we pop them onto our BAS. Unfortunately, with this version of Myob, in Myob Essentials, it doesn't have an area where it will help you um, with a BAS link. You would have to do it manually uh, on a spreadsheet. So if I wanted to, I would just come to my Excel. I'll just get a new one here. So I'll just make that bigger. So here's my ATO. This is for my bass. We've got my oops, GST collected. Can't spell today. GST collected, and what we need is the full amount. Uh, so where's that sitting here? Sorry, I'm just trying to find the right report. So I'm going to put my full number, 293.37. So 293.37. And I'm going to add the PAYG for my staff. And I think from memory that was either 27 or 47. It's not going to be shown there, but it's going to be shown here. 42, sorry, uh, 24. Looking at the wrong one there. $24. Let's add that one up together. Minus your GST paid, and we're going to pull in that, put in the full amount of GST paid there. Three fifteen forty-five, and look at that. We've got in there that minus our GST, and really that's the amount there that we owe the tax office. Ah. Uh, 317, yeah, that's the amount that we've um, owed the tax office. So 
really when we're reporting that will be 293 that will be 24 and that will be 317 that will be 315 there and you can see that we've got two dollars there owing So I've just done that manually, but um, you don't have BathLink with uh, Essentials, so that will be a manual little calculation there. Once you've done that, export that through to a PDF like I've done here and print that one out.